What would you think if the sky suddenly filled with helicopters and hordes of armed policemen swarmed up the sidewalk on motorcycles and horseback? Well, if you were a kid at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, you'd probably think it was great fun. The history of the Cops for Kids fly-in goes back to 1998, when Jeff Werblin and Don Miskillen, both with the Riverside Police Department at the time, started talking about doing something for hospitalized children. Gary, Collie, and myself and Jeff Werblin all put together this fly-in nine years ago, and, and it's gone on ever since. Today we're doing our annual Cops for Kids fly-in to benefit the children at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital. And we have law enforcement agencies, specifically airborne law enforcement agencies, flying in from all around the Southern California region, whose officers and personnel, as well as our motor officers from throughout the region, are all bringing toys, and then we're going to caravan over to the hospital and spend some time with the kids. It started small, but in 2007 there were 65 officers from seven different law enforcement agencies throughout California. Some flew in from as far away as Sacramento, Others rode in on motorcycles and horseback. Here to meet and greet the kids. I can't wait till they come out. Um, actually, when my son was born, he spent his first three days here, so this is a great hospital. And uh, it's just anything we can do to give back to the community. Can't wait to can't wait to see the kids. You can imagine how the kids felt when the helicopters landed, and they got to climb in and play with the controls. To see the kids' eyes light up when they get to come around and look at the helicopter and sit in it and uh, ask us about what we do and um, I know they look up to us and, and I really appreciate that and, uh, and it's just, it's one of the highlights of my year. Well, my kids been having fun. They got a lot of activities for kids that they didn't have when I was little. After playing with the helicopters, climbing aboard the motorcycles and riding horses for a couple of hours, cops and kids went upstairs to the pediatric oncology unit at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, where Santa had arrived early with hundreds of gifts for the kids. You know, just to see them happy and playing with the toys and, and just to see them, you know, running around loose, it just brings joy to me. To me. Each department runs a toy drive, and uh, when this thing first started, it wasn't supposed to be a, a toy event, it was just baseball caps. But everybody brought toys, and uh, as you can see, it's just overwhelming the response. She loves dogs. Can you show me, can you tell me what you got? What this is? Can you tell what it is? No, fan. What do you do with it? Play with it? Even though it only lasted a few hours, the Cops for Kids fly-in left an impact that will remain with the children for years. We know from hospital staff over the years, which is part of the reason why we do continue to do this, is um, the long-lasting effects on the kids. I mean, for weeks, literally weeks after we leave, they're talking about the cops that came to talk to them, and specifically the helicopter cops and the motorcycle cops. and. Um, and the t-shirts we give them, they won't take them off to let them get laundered. They sleep in them, they live in them, they take them home. And it's just something they can take with them when they do go home. T-shirts, toys, memories for the rest of their life. We're looking forward to doing it again next year. It'll be the 10 year anniversary and we're going to have to figure out a way to make it even better. I don't know how we can, but, but we'll, maybe we'll bring ice cream or something. I don't know. <laughs>